We've been out and about in Glasgow today on the final day of the 2019 general election campaign, asking people how they feel the campaign itself has gone. Uh, we spoke to about 25 people, five of whom were happy to go in depth with their views on the, the campaign and the general political situation, but about 20 of whom uh, were totally disinterested, totally despondent and didn't really want to talk about it. Now that doesn't mean that this general election is unimportant. It clearly is important. But it does show that it's still a major feature of British politics that most people just feel totally alienated and disconnected to the entire political process. And that's going to matter a lot, no matter what the outcome of the election is. How do you think the general election campaign has been going? How do you feel about it? Very interesting. No. Yeah. Uh, what's what's stopping you becoming interested in it? The, the fact that, in my humble opinion, every party is most interested in themselves and not in the electorate. Uh -huh. And uh, I feel that it would be against my better judgment to put my name against any of them when I feel that way. No interest in politics at all. Aye. No. Okay, so uh, how do you think the general election is going? Is it interesting? Aye, but I think because I'm 80 now, I'm not really that. I'm more worried about the young people, I would say, in the future. Well, mostly I'm thinking about the people that are losing their jobs. Uh -huh. You know, there's thousands of them, isn't there? It's a shame, really, you know, I thought we would do it. But they must be going with a lot of food banks now, which is sad. Mm -hmm. who, you, who would you think of old for? I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards my little Deborah. De 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 are you? Are you? No. no. I always thought, for over 50 years I voted Labour. And uh -huh. I don't know, I really don't know, to be honest. But I don't want independence anyway. Okay. I don't want, I don't want that. Uh, <laughs> confusing. Uh, so what, what would you be your kind of dream outcome for the election then? Well, certainly not a Tory government, that's for sure. Would you like to see a, a Labour SNP coalition come out of the election? I mean, that may be one of the outcomes that, I mean, who knows, you know what I mean? I mean, it, it, it couldn't certainly be any worse than a Conservative or Dem demolition, eh, or demolition, although Probably it would didn't slip, yeah. certainly, you know, but um, who knows, you know what I mean? It might not be that bad, yeah. you know. Yeah. We've talked to quite a lot of people today who really aren't interested in the election. Why do you think people are so disillusioned? I mean, yeah, to me, it's, um, I don't really understand it. Because, I mean, you know, a lot of people say, oh, it doesn't affect me, but then you would ask some things like, you know, do you have children going to school? Do you have, um, you know, do you, do you walk in the pavement? Do you travel on roads? Do you use the transport? This is all politics. So, I mean, to me, it's just, I don't know, maybe just people are conditioned that they think it doesn't affect them, but in reality, I, I don't think it does. Uh, maybe why you're not that interested in it? Quite a lot of people are to us. I really don't like the Brexit. You don't, you don't like Brexit. I didn't want to come out of Europe. Uh huh. And that's putting you off the general election. Everything put me off. When I see people, all those balls that are stopped there, they can't fish in the European boat until the whole thing is finished. These people are penniless now. Oh yeah, scary, scary, scary. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't normally vote. And the thing is, you know, it's Boris the buffoon or Corbyn Cor the communist. You know. Mm. Um, I would, I, w I would wish somebody else would win, but the votes are going to get spread thinner, and a lot of parties are going to get, you know, tactical voting. I don't think a lot of Dems are going to get enough to do. It. It's going to be one of them. I think it'll be a. There's going to be a lot of people unhappy on Friday. What, what do you think the big issues are that politicians should be tackling? Well, obviously, the one we've been hearing about for years now, the Brexit thing. Um, I, I, you know, I voted no for that, I voted no for the referendum. I, I, it's, dividing is not the way to go, I don't think, in this world. I can't, I can't really believe that Labour have stuck with Corbyn, because had the just about anybody else, they would have had a really good shot at it this time. Go in, how the boat man, and I think you got any uh, uh, opinions? I don't really care to be honest. Oh, okay. I support um, Jeremy Corbyn. I think he does a great, he's doing a great job and he's trying his hard to get people because of the homeless situation, the NHS, there's 
loads of different things that there are issues here, so definitely I'm hoping right. to get the Tories out. Yes, yeah. for definite, 100%. And what, what, what makes you dislike the Tories the most? Well, I don't see anything they're doing. What are they doing for us? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Look at universal credit. Look at people that's got nothing. Where are they getting with it? They've not done anything yet that I can see. So, for me, that's the road that I'm looking at. We'll just need to see what happens on the day.